But uh, moving on, the race for UK-based fiber network company Cable and Wireless gets hotter. Tata Communications and Vodafone has got a two to three week extension to bid for UK-based fiber network company Cable and Wireless. And uh, Russian corporate house uh, Systema, which operates MTS Telecom Services in India, says they will rethink on fresh 2G auctions given the conflicting views emerging post the SC verdict. The Russian government-owned uh, company expert expects Indian company, uh, government to protect their interests in the country and provide compensation for the damages caused. The government should provide extra guarantees that they are each and every investor under this treaty is treated fairly. So the only thing which we want to send a message to the government, it means like, please listen to our case, please explain to us what we've done wrong, and please protect us if, if you think that we've done nothing wrong. The same thing we are saying not only to the government, to the old state called the Supreme Court, uh, SSTL reviewed the petition to the Supreme Court as well, explaining our particular case. Do you think that the auction should take place within the June 2nd deadline or if it does not then it will make a, a bad business case for you to in, in India? I mean like if uh, everybody and including the government said that the Supreme Court's decision should be implemented, should be implemented in full. Their decision of the court is to accomplish uh, the auction of the frequencies which uh, revoked uh, from the uh, from uh, uh, their operators uh, by June 2. Why it's important for us? Because this decision of Supreme Court on business uh, level create a lot of uncertainty. Now, the BRICS summit started today in the capital, and leaders of the emerging world met for the fourth meeting of the bloc. Now, top of